The global pandemic that started in 2019 has put the uh, Islamic Brotherhood in coping with the many challenges of the pandemic COVID-19. So in this video, we will discuss with you on how this religious bond was put into action and that it was success or a failure. Okay, so I am Chirani Irfan, matrix number 191-6505 and I will lead this video discussion so before we go through straight forward to the main issue, how about we recap a little bit about what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic? Okay, so as you can remember, we have three types of MCO, which is movement, cultural order. So we have MCO1, MCO2, and MCO3. Okay, so as the result of that, it affected the shortage and also the loss of income by many parties. So during this COVID-19 pandemic, many people lost their loved one and also they lost their jobs and have no income and leaving them leaving them in the days so due to these economic problems uh, food insecurity became the main issue this gave trouble to the affected people as they cannot buy their food basic needs and also they cannot buy their groceries so they don't have enough savings to survive and then this forced them to limit their food consumption so to help these affected people, and especially Muslims, that facing the problem uh, back then, there are a lot of parties and also the organization that help and contribute to the community. First, we will look on State Islamic Religious Council, or in Malay, we call it as Majlis Agama Negeri. So there are more initiatives taken by the respective State Islamic a religious council like Slango. Slango, Slango Islamic Religious Council, they provide a food bank and anyone can take food from it. And in Pahang, State Islamic Religious Council give raw food to the selected house and also to a house that have been declared as PKPD. And in Juhu, Juhu Islamic Religious Council, they give money to the affected people so the affected people can buy groceries from that money. There are also non-government organization NGO that give help to the people like giving food for the police that got the roadblocks and or giving PPE to the frontliners. And there are also corporate company uh, that give food and basic needs to the people that had to quarantine at Ma'ab Serdang. And also people lend help individually also exist in Malaysia. So as an example I give to you we have Abid Liu. Abid Liu is a famous and public figure for his act of charity. So he give a bunch of bad and also bus for the hospital and also rent lorries to give food for the affected people to the community. So from this effort, we can see the effort from the various parties, the Islamic Brotherhood is really, really at the best effort. Why, as, why I say this? Because Muslims are helping each other. No discriminate. Like, oh, I, I don't know you, so I don't want to help you. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not from my relatives. No, no. Everyone is helping someone and the interesting fact is people helping people that they, they don't know each other. Yeah. So they feel they, they feel pity and empathy and empathy for what they had gone through. This is really really a good health healthy brotherhood. As I can see, it was at the highest level. Because they feel the same thing, the same thing like the affected people. So just like one body, if a finger hurt and the other parts and the whole body will also feel it just like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in his hadith the parable of the believers in love and brotherhood among them is like one body if one of the limb is sick and then the whole body will also feel sick by staying up at night and having a fever wow. okay so in this part Muslim effort it was a success okay so if we want if we larger our school uh, and we will look on the country part. I can say that it was not as success as on the individual and group part. As we know, Malaysia is a Muslim country. During the pandemic COVID-19, so Malaysia failed to cope with this pandemic COVID-19. There are unstable politics and the politicians just, you know, busy keeping power in their hands. And then no innovation of planning, just doing the MCO without proper planning. There are a lot of people jobless, you know, and then no money during this pandemic. And this country has no initiative on how to solve this problem. So I'm not thinking also about them. And that is why the NGO, the corporate company and the individual part actively help others as the government failed to curb this issue. From the perspective of other Muslim countries, we can see the Islamic Brotherhood is not, is not at its finest. 
because the Muslim countries are not helping each other, like giving something valuable or discuss among them about what they can do for the Muslims over the entire world. There are zero effort on it, and for me, it was a failure. There are no vaccines from them, we got a lot from China, okay? So there are also issues about Islamic Brotherhood is strong, but it lead to the failure because they mis misuse the brotherhood. Okay, just like the case of people that go to the mosque and perform the congregational prayer, also at Jama'ah, in the first MCO. So, as we know, the Mufti in Malaysia has given a clarification about the prohibition of Salat Jama'ah or congregational prayer in the mosque uh, during that time. But there are certain and group of people that call themselves as Islamic. They did not follow the SOP and still go to the mosque. They go together, yeah, they go together as a group. Okay, to Salat Jama'ah. So this shows that the Islamic Brotherhood is good, but they fail because they misuse it. Huh. As a result, there are people get caught in mosque and so on. So they didn't acknowledge that preservation of life is also important. And it is one of the Maqasid Sharia. So as Dr. Zakir Al-Bakri, the ex-minister of religious, uh, religious department in Malaysia, he stated that banning the congregational prayers does not mean, does not mean we did not preserve the religion. We still have to perform our prayer in house and also can do the congregational prayer with our family in house. So there are no issue about the preservation of religion. So we have to, the main issue is we have to preserve our life as the COVID pandemic COVID-19 is really a huge threat for, for us as a human. So yeah, that's all from me. So how you guys can have a big picture on this issue and hope my video inspired you guys okay so see you soon assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye